Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, February 14th. A quiet morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. It'll be a, a, a much different day than Wednesday. Wednesday we had some strong wind gusts, some snow shower activity north of the Mason-Dixon line, but today should feature plenty of sunshine and somewhat milder conditions, uh, generally in the 40s this afternoon. And then D.C., Philadelphia, New York City should jump into the 50s on Friday, perhaps even near 60 degrees down across the D.C. metro region. A couple of showers around as a cold front arrives later in the day tomorrow night. That cold frontal passage will usher in colder air for the weekend and there are three different low pressure areas we'll have to monitor for the next several days. One can have an impact generally it looks like from D.C. to Atlantic City and areas south of there. It looks like it may stay south of Pennsylvania although it's still a close call and D.C. could actually end up being on the northern fringes of this system early in the weekend, maybe Saturday morning or so. Then another system, generally a weak system, looks like it could throw some snow or a wintry mix into the mid-Atlantic region Sunday night, early Monday time frame. And finally, yet another system could have an impact Tuesday night, Wednesday with either snow or a wintry mix in the mid-Atlantic region. Let's start off by looking at the U.S. radar. The big story today is a, a powerful storm slamming into California. Here we see all these radar echoes out in California, heavy rains along the coast all the way down to uh, San Diego and even into uh, northwestern Mexico and heavy snows inland. The Sierra Nevadas have just been absolutely inundated with heavy snow in recent weeks and they're on the verge of getting several more feet of snow over the next 48 hours or so. Again, the big story of the day is to California storm. Not only is it producing significant precipitation, but very strong winds as well. And of course, all of that could lead to uh, mudslides, erosion, and localized flooding conditions. Let's take a look at NOAA's forecast map of total precipitation amounts for the next uh, three days. This goes from this morning into Sunday morning. And of course, the big story in terms of precipitation is out across the western U.S., a lot of this, will, all of this basically will be in the form of snow. That's the uh, Sierra Nevada mountain range of eastern California. Again, several, several more feet of snow in that uh, region over the next few days. Heavy rains along the coast all the way down to Baja, California. Just a tremendous pounding out here. Lots of snow to the uh, ski resorts across western U.S. Meanwhile, in the east, notice a little bit of a northern edge to the precipitation right here, and that is related to the Saturday system that, again, looks like it'll be confined to maybe the region from D.C. to Atlantic City and areas south. Not a major storm by any means, but uh, there can be some snow as far north as D.C. Uh, uh, in the southern part of New Jersey. It looks like right now southern Pennsylvania may be spared from anything on Saturday morning. Let's now get into the details of uh, the weekend threats and the threat for the middle part of next week. Well, let's start off by looking at the 500 millibar forecast maps from last night's 6Z GFS model run. Basically, a, a west to east flow right now, and that keeps, keeps it rather seasonal. No extreme cold air masses in the U.S. at the moment, but with this west to east flow, again, a rather seasonable uh, temperature look for the next couple of days across much of the nation. Now let's move forward here and here's a big area of energy out across the western US California by tonight moving a little bit more inland and then this is uh, the uh, system that will drag a cold front through the eastern states on Friday. Ahead of the front temperatures will jump to near 60 degrees in DC on Friday afternoon well in the 50s in Philly and New York City not much rain associated with this frontal patch. It could certainly be a few showers. Do not expect a heavy rain event at all. Here we go by Friday night. This is the first wave of energy here that we'll watch for the early part of the weekend. Generally moving from west to east and again it looks like the uh, precipitation shield may extend as far north as let's say DC to Atlantic City and then areas to the south as surface low pressure moves towards the Carolinas. It certainly can extend up into southern Pennsylvania. We'll have to monitor that over the next uh, day or two. A decent shot at some snow in the DC metro region, but even there it's not a guarantee at this particular time. We'll have to see the uh, northern extent. There was a little bit of a shift to the south in the overnight model runs. 
if that trend continues, even D.C. could escape uh, uh, some snow on Saturday morning. Let's now move forward here from Saturday into uh, Sunday. And here's that next wave of energy, wave number two. Looks like that tends to move to the north and west of the I-95 Carter region. The result could be a wintry mix, either snow or a wintry mix Sunday night, early Monday time frame. Not a major system, it looks like, at this time, but again, a wintry mix, possible Sunday night, early Monday in the Mid-Atlantic region. And then we move forward into the early part of next week, and here is a potentially the strongest of the three systems showing up in the southwestern U.S. early next week. That, too, treks along the uh, uh, same kind of a path to the north and east. Notice this whole time there's a ridge in the upper part of the atmosphere across the southeastern part of the nation. That keeps things quite warm here uh, in this part of the nation and makes it a battle zone uh, in the I-95 Carter region of D.C. to New York City in terms of rain versus snow. And This ridge is, has been stubborn. It looks like it will continue to be stubborn well into next week. That's why none of these systems coming up uh, uh, have a guarantee of snow. Certainly can be snow on Saturday, but with this ridge stubbornly holding its ground in the southeastern U.S., can be a wintry mix on Sunday night, early Monday, and then again Tuesday night into Wednesday. Well, now let's take a look at the surface forecast maps from last night's GFS model run. Again, a quiet day here on Thursday in the Mid-Atlantic region. High pressure in control. No tight pressure gradient today. Winds should be much, much calmer than yesterday. Let's now move forward here. And here we go. Here's that storm system over the Great Lakes by late tonight, and that will have a cold frontal system trailing from the low pressure to the south, and here's that frontal system by early Friday morning. Again, not a heavy rain event. There can be some shower activity, nothing significant on Friday in terms of rainfall. Turns quite a bit milder ahead of the front. Southwesterly winds in the lower part of the atmosphere, well up in the 50s, many parts of the I-95 Carter region. That front moves on through, stalls out across the Carolinas here by Saturday morning. And here's that first wave uh, expected the early part of the weekend. Again, generally following that frontal boundary zone that has stalled out across the Carolinas, moving from west to east. And the northern extent of that precipitation shield, again, may end up being roughly D.C. to Atlantic City and points to the south there. Uh, certainly can snow on Saturday morning in D.C. Still a close call. Right now it looks like southern Pennsylvania will be spared of the precipitation, but we'll of course have to monitor that threat over the next day or two. Here we go now into Sunday morning. Wave number two looks like it slides up to the north and west. As a result, there can be a, a wintry mix especially north of the Mason-Dixon line Sunday night into uh, Monday morning, perhaps just plain rain south of the Mason-Dixon line. We'll monitor that over the next couple of days. And then finally, we have the potential for a third system kind of pulling out of the uh, uh, northern Gulf of Mexico and headed to the north and east. That will have a, perhaps a little bit more moisture involved and a little bit more cold air uh, ahead of it across the northeastern part of the nation. Notice high pressure in this region right here, uh, late Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and that could result in some snow activity or a wintry mix. Again, we're talking Tuesday night or Wednesday of next week. So three threats to monitor over the next several days. One early in the weekend, one late in the weekend, early part of next week, and a third one by the middle part of next week. But all that will follow a very mild end to the work week with high temperatures near 60 on Friday in D.C., well up in the 50s in Philadelphia and New York City. That's it for now. For ProspectiveWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.